welcome to frame a dive in this video i'm gonna show you an amazing scroll sticky effect and this is a beautiful website by daniel sun.space who is a top top designer and one of the best ways to be good in design and specifically a framer is by learning from great designers and seeing what you can recreate yourself and see what you can build yourself so in this video i want to show you a very specific part that i really liked on this website and the part that i want to show you is from here i want you to observe as i scroll from here you can see we have this bunch of cards that are coming on top of the screen and they are coming really well and they're slightly slanted to the left with different degrees of rotation as you can see this is a very beautiful effect so i'm still scrolling and you can see how it looks and it ends there so this is a scroll sticky effect and uh, you can do this in frema and you don't need to be a top top designer or a top top coder developer you can just you know pick something and just you know click some effects and and voila you've made this yourself so this is what i want to show you in frema and i hope you learn something from here and yeah so let's get this started my name is joe and this is frema dive let's get started So if you want to follow along, you can find the remix file in the description and you can check it out. So what you ha what I have here, this is my Frema workspace. And if you sign up, if you're new to Frema with a link in the description, you can create an account for free and you can start building as soon as possible. So here is what I have. I just have a couple of placeholders which is this start here and end here uh, but where i want to do that effect or that specific design i want to place it inside here this white part okay so what do i have here inside this white part as you can see this is a scroll section and notice the blue border this this solid blue border to here it's what indicates my scroll section boundaries so and then inside this scroll section i have a cards container which has a width of fill and a height of feet but this cards container doesn't have anything as of yet so then on the left side here i have my card and this is what i'm gonna use to create those cards so i just created this so that we can do this as quickly as possible so the first thing i want to do i want you to do i want you to click this card and i want you to hold ctrl c on your keyboard and i want you to paste it inside this card's container ctrl v and as you can see once you paste it inside it comes to you can see i can't move it much because it's 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 in a layout because this card's container is already in a layout so the card once you copy it inside it comes to the center of my card's container then I want to make I want you to make sure your cards container has a direction set from top to bottom, so that when we duplicate these cards and create the other cards like this, we can see that it is growing on the bottom side. So I'm just holding Control D and I'm duplicating all these cards. So, but before we do that, let me just press Control Z. I want to make sure first I make sure that. I just take you through uh, what I have here. So this is just a card with a few of, you know, a few of effects and a few of styling. So let's just me just let me just quickly take you through what I have here. I have the card inside here and this is the image which is inside this card and the the this image here actually I need to call this image. So the image is inside another card and this card is set to fit the content and inside these cards which is set to you know we have a party no round 
and the padding is 22 and each of these the card and the image all have a radius which is this one the outer the card here has a radius of 16 and the image has a radius of 8 and then the outer card which is this one it also has a border as you can see i have a border color here and notice my border has a top of value of two right bottom and left they're zero zero this means that the top border will be somehow thick and the left and bottom and right won't have any value so and then i also have a shadow here as you can see this is a shadow that you see here which is this color and then we have the blur at 17 and the spread at 5 but this is neither here or this is neither nothing much you can just tweak it to suit your styling preference so to start off let's start with as you can see from our current design you can see that we have this card slightly tilted to the right side and as it goes and gets to this part it's kind of going to this left side so as you can see it comes from this right side and comes to the and tilts to the left side so we need to come and position this card with a rotation value and set it to sorry and we need to come and set it to a rotation value of like negative four why are we doing negative four let's go back to this design as you can see the final state of this card is tilted to negative four so we want to set our card initially to its final state because remember we want to put an effect here and the effect should start and then end in the final state so the effect we're going to put the effect to this other rotating side in a positive rotation value so let me show you so i'm gonna go to the effect i'm gonna actually i already put an effect but let me just remove it so i can show you the effect that i used so i want you to click this plus icon on the effects and come here to scroll animation and i want you to put it to layer in view which is this card and then i want to set the replay to no and then i want you to come to enter effect so what is the effect when it enters course we want to see it so we're going to put an opacity of one scale we want to scale it up a bit because we as you can see here it kind of uh, scales down it kind of scales down very subtle so that's what we want so we wanted to have a scale of 1.1 and then now here is where the magic happens you come here to the rotating button and you want to rotate it to the positive side like nine or eight so notice when when the rotation is too big like like here it's going to start with a very deep rotation but in our case we just wanted to rotate from like uh 10 10 or 9 degrees is okay and then now we also need to tweak the transitional values so in my case i want to put an ease in transition or ease out so i wanted to ease out or is in you can prefer i prefer is out and then i'm just gonna increase the time a bit like 0 0.8 so it takes more time to come yeah and that's pretty much so now if i go and view my website and as you can see as i scroll we have this nice effect although so let me just refresh it again as you can see they have this nice rotation so that's the first step so the next thing we just need is to duplicate these cards so i'm gonna hold ctrl d and hold ctrl d again and notice that these cards are coming outside its container this is because the cards container is set to feet yeah i think that's okay but now you can see the scroll section has a fixed height so we need to set it to fit the content like that so this is now the next thing i'm just gonna show you how to do this other part and then so let's come to the second card i can just come to the image and just pick a random image here
yeah so i've just picked another image and this is it so now what we want we want to do again we want to tweak the rotation of this so remember we ask ourselves what is the final state of this card so now we want this card to slightly be on the right side so i'm just gonna change it from negative four all the way to positive uh four is okay so this is should be the final state and then now we come again and come to the effects notice we duplicated so the effects were carried to this new card i'm just come here to scroll animation and i'm gonna come here to the answer effect and then i just want to change the rotation to now the negative side so it will start from this negative side and then as i scroll you will come back to our positive side and that's pretty much it we don't need to change anything else and then another thing i want you to make sure that you've done is make sure that all your cards are set to position in sticky so let's come to the first card and come to change it to sticky positioning and i want you to have a value of 180 as the top so this means that it will have 180 pixels it will stick 180 pixels from the top okay and then we also want to have this one to positioning type sticky and 180 pixels from the top so the next thing we also need to do the same thing on this start card and i'm just gonna make sure that positioning again also this one is set to sticky positioning and also remember that when you change any card or any layer to positioning type sticky you need to make sure that all its parent layers are set to overflow visible so i'm just gonna click the cards container and make sure the overflow is set to visible this is okay i'm gonna go to the scroll section set overflow to visible that is okay and then the desktop which is the uppermost parent layer and overflow is set to visible so now if i view my website as you can see when i start to scroll we have this nice effect card that is coming out really well so that's pretty much it as you can see it works perfectly well and uh, yeah i think that's pretty much so if you wish to remix this file you can find the remix file in the description and you can use this design to put in your portfolio or you can use it to showcase your work or your project in a clear and beautiful way so thank you for watching once again this is Freema Dive. i am joe and see you in the next video